In this video, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the check engine light. As you recall in one of my earlier videos, I told you that uh, I was out uh, driving around uh, testing out my boat after it had come back to, from the shop and uh, <clears throat> to replace the wiring harness as a result of some corroded wires in the uh, wiring harness that went to the uh, intelligent brake and reverse system uh, located toward the rear of the boat. Right here, uh, this is the component here that has an actuator in it and the wiring harness goes down underneath and that corroded underneath because some water got into the boat and corroded so I had to replace the entire wiring harness and as I indicated in my earlier video what happened is I took my boat out to make sure everything was connected up right and the reverse uh, grate worked the way it did and yes it did work the way it did but on coming back to the dock after about hmm, two or three minutes of just riding around to test the grate um, the an alarm went off and the check engine light went off and it's like what the heck is that when I opened up my boat I found out that the engine compartment just seemed a little it seemed a little warm warmer than I was remembering and I thought well maybe that's just because I was out on a hot day um, <clears throat> but anyway uh, I started looking for the codes uh, that were going to be displayed on the dashboard, the error codes, to find out what was going on since I couldn't get the alarm to go off. And um, I found out that the uh, exhaust gas temperature sensor was having problems. So it's been a few days since I've uh, had my boat uh, on the water, and I've tried everything like disconnecting the battery, hooking the positive and negative terminals together uh, after I took them off the battery, thinking that would power down the uh, engine control unit to no avail. It still has the same problem. And so let's start this thing up and see if we get the fault. Okay, so by way of refresher, the way you get to the code to find out what the code is, it's being displayed um, and, and causing the alarm. You put on your, you put in your key, it'll double beep. And you click this button here, the right arrow button, to go through the menu settings, water temperature, and then settings. Hit the settings button, hit the OK button, after you hit, hit the uh, right arrow key to get to the settings. And then you hit OK with the codes, and it'll tell you the key, which is P2080, and that's the one that goes with the exhaust gas temperature sensor. At least that's what it said it, said it does go with. So... <clears throat> What I'll do now uh, is go ahead and check the uh, the exhaust gas temperature sensor to see what's uh, see what's going on. First, what I did, <clears throat> and what I did when I was doing my diagnostic check, I came back to find out where the exhaust gas temperature sensor is, and the exhaust gas temperature sensor is right here. This here is your exhaust box. You've got this exhaust rubber hose that goes to the back of the boat, and here's your exhaust gas temperature sensor. And what I found when I came uh, after my boat had been repaired is I found that this hose clamp, this clamp, was just sitting down in the bottom and wasn't attached to anything. And what I surmise is the hot exhaust gas was blowing on this or blowing by or something like that and perhaps causing problems with this temperature sensor. I have recently purchased another temperature sensor, but before I replace it, I'm going to test this temperature sensor and find out what's going on. So what we'll do now is show how you remove the connector for the exhaust gas temperature sensor and we'll go ahead and show how to test the sensor itself. GoPro, stop video. What we're going to go over now is uh, checking your exhaust gas temperature sensor on your uh, Fish Pro. I have a 2019 Fish Pro and uh, as you recall in an earlier video I said the alarm went off and so I, it said that I needed to check the exhaust gas temperature sensor as there might be a fault or perhaps there was a fault but now it's corrected so once again here's the exhaust gas temperature sensor right here this is the connector and this is the sensor itself now in order to remove the connector you, you can press on this and pull it but it's kind of hard and so what you do they provide a nice convenient little slot here and you press press in on that on that and it raises the little detent and then you can more easily pull it off like that and that's what it looks like right there 
that's the wiring harness that goes to the ECU. And what you'll need to do is get yourself a 19 millimeter um, wrench to, to remove it. We'll go ahead and do that now. Tighten it in there pretty good. It's nice that they made this small enough to so you can get your uh, wrench around it okay there's your sensor there it's a little bit warm looks like it's got a little black stuff on it probably from the exhaust and then we'll go about checking it the way to check it is uh, you get a, a multimeter and you check the uh, uh, ohms resistance ohms across these leads uh, at, at room temperature and at various temperatures and see what it says. We'll show how to do that now. Okay, so this is the old temperature sensor that I took out of my existing watercraft and we're gonna test it by putting some ohmmeter leads uh, across these two terminals and see what it reads here on the readout. It's supposed to read, depending on the temperature, uh, various degrees of resistance. And there's a table in your manual in the shop manual that tells you what the resistance is supposed to be. This is at this temperature of the shop here, it's supposed to be about 1600 ohms when you measure across here. So let's see, let's see what it is. As the temperature of your exhaust gas goes up, the uh, resistance goes down and there's a chart in the manual which talks about that, what it's supposed to be depending on the temperature. But I'll just test it at the shop temperature. Okay, here's the, here's the new one, about 1600 um, ohms so we'll test the old one and see what we get about 1545 now the temperature is a little bit different uh, because it's probably still heated up a little bit from the exhaust. So it looks like this temperature sensor is good. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, put it back on the boat. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hook up my can-do, which uh, I'll show in a separate video to uh, see if we can check out the diagnostic code and also clear the diagnostic code, uh, because apparently that's hopefully what's happening. As some people on the forums have said that when one of these sensors goes out, sometimes it'll throw a code, and, and then the code will remain in memory even though the sensor starts acting properly. Uh, so I think that's what happened, that the exhaust gas was probably hitting on this, hitting on this thing. It kind of messed things up, and therefore, uh, that's what probably threw the fault. But now that I've got the exhaust gas at, uh, rubber hose hooked back on to the muffler itself or the exhaust box, I think we won't have the problem. So we'll go ahead and put this back on and uh, see what happens. Okay, what I've done is I've taken a brush and I've cleaned off some of the calcium and hard deposits on the outside of the sensor. And we'll go ahead and apply a little bit of a blue Loctite on it. Be sure that you have this, uh, this sealing washer uh, because that doesn't come with a new temperature sensor. Don't lose that. We'll put a little blue Loctite on this. And then we'll go ahead and fixture it back in the back in the boat. Okay, that seems on there. Then we'll attach that back, and now we'll see what happens, just to make sure that the alarm still goes off. Okay. 
Okay, as we can see, the alarm still went off. And so what we'll do now is we will go ahead and check out uh, the code to see if we can clear the code with this uh, CanDo Pro, which is a di vehicle diagnostic interface, which hooks into your computer and hooks into the module uh, for the uh, engine diagnostics and allows you to read the engine diagnostics on your computer and then change out the code and reset the code. What we'll do is we'll try and reset the code and see if that takes care of the problem.